Hello viewers, uh, welcome to African Act. We are the African Diaspora Festival right here in Milton Keynes and I'm loving to see the showcase of different African countries. When you look there, you can actually see the African flags elongated. And obviously the music happening today is from different African countries. Every country is showcasing their, you know, their dressing up from their country, the flags carrying their own country flags. And this festival is showing that actually Milton Keynes has become the one place you will find a lot of Africans that are coming here for different jobs. But let me say this, families are finding this so useful because their children can get a glimpse of what their countries are all about. Somebody from South Africa, somebody from Nigeria, somebody from Guinea-Bissau, obviously somebody like me from Kenya. There's so many Africans who are saying, this is a kind of thing we wanna feel every summer. And I decided to come all the way from London because I have heard that this festival really has got a lot you can see the queue for the food. We call it Yamachoma, as Kenyans, but for any African countries they know, without the barbecue meat, you haven't done it. So today, I am enjoying and I want you to enjoy. You will see the music, you see the fashion show, African Diaspora Festival. And many countries I've seen are adopting to this beat like every summer. Let us bring the Africans together to celebrate who they are. Ah, yeah. Hey. Amaru. Only if you're ready, 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 ready. Let's go. Hey. I'm only looking for loyalty. All I need from you. I'm thinking you be the one for me I can see it on you Your love that do me every time Did you by my side? So my name is Chantel and my group are an amazing bunch of diverse ages and cultures and countries They're very young, they actually didn't know how to dance African dancing So I had to work from scratch but because of the, the patience and the love that they have for me and I have for them We've made magic, so I'm so happy and I'm so proud. Oh, God works in mysterious ways. He put the He put me in the in the court of kids, and I'm just so happy. And um, what made me also is that um, I saw my community needed something, and I said, you know what, I'm the one to offer it. So for me, myself, I'm a gospel artist, and I used to dance a lot as a kid, and I never had anyone to teach me African dancing. I just had my parents and social media and you know YouTube. But I said, you know what, I'm going to dedicate myself and give my time and my effort and my patience to them and I'm so happy and I'm so proud it paid off. With you by my side we gon' shine. Be big girl, you know you roll your tea. I've been waiting for you. Today, what do they expect to find? The beauty of Ethiopia. A lot, a lot of things. We have our culture, our clothes, our people. Uh, I would say don't stay in the city, so go out, you'll see nature, coffee, get to experience the real culture and the people as well. We were looking for this friend, we found it. So tell me a little bit about your country. Mike, okay, my name is Doreen, I'm from Zimbabwe, the most beautiful country on earth. The mighty Victoria Falls, lovely people, hospitable people. Please come and visit us. Fantastic. And in the UK, in the United Kingdom, what do you tell Africans about working together and uniting to have festivals like this? I'm very impressed with our currently what's going on in the political scene internationally with our African leaders. They are beginning to come together and unite. We shouldn't let the artificial boundaries that were put continue to divide us. We are beyond that. We need to come together. We need each other. Viewers, fantastic. Just like what you've heard, we in the diaspora never forget where we come from. We follow the news day in, day out. So whatever is happening in our mother countries, we keep informed. So we say to our government as well, reach out to your diaspora. Let us inspire what's going on at our homeland. Because together, working with the brains that have been formed even outside the country, who are really royal to our countries, work with us, we'll make the difference. Back in Zimbabwe, back in Kenya, every other African country, use your diaspora. We are privileged to have one of the finest, one of the finest drummers and entertainers 
not just from Africa, but from the world. Tell us about the country you're representing today. I'm representing Somalia. Um, it's a beautiful country. Um, we're very welcoming and nice, and um, we're very beautiful people as well. Fantastic. So if somebody was to go for holiday in Somalia, what would they do in Somalia? Um, the beaches are very nice places. The, also the food, the food top 10, and um, monuments as well. We have like a nice uh, monument and history. Fantastic. Yeah. Viewers, you've heard we are talking about Somalia. This is African Diaspora Festival. And to see young people coming to represent their country, we have won this one. So much impressed by the way you're looking. Well done, girls. Thank you. Today I'm representing South Africa, which is my mother's country. Um, and today we're here for African Diaspora Festival, which is an amazing event. Uh, everybody gets an opportunity to represent their country. As you can see, I'm all dressed up in South African attire. I'm here to represent my country, and I would encourage each and everyone to come and represent their country. Uh, Nala is not about Benji, Nala is not about Nala as a company, Nala is about you as the people, right? Um, for me, it's a brand that's bigger than, than, than all of us, right? It's like Coca-Cola. 100 years from today, I want people to look back and say, this is what Nala did to impact the lives of Africans globally. We want to build payment infrastructure on the continent, but we can't do that without your help. So if you're watching this, I uh, would love to be part of this journey. Please like, join us, install an application, give us feedback directly. People like you really inspire us to do the work that we do. So we love your feedback. We love your help in helping us get into there. Ungana Nasi, and let's go. I'm so much, you know what, even to see you play with a child like that in a festival like this just makes my heart just glow. So tell us about the country you're representing today. All right, I'm represent, we are representing Cameroon. Yeah, so it's a country in West Africa or Central Africa. So but my husband is from Zimbabwe, but he's been adopted as a Cameroonian already. <laughs> you, you, you go where your wife is. <laughs> <laughs> so, so now you're in Cameroon, but let's talk about where you came from. Talk to us about Zimbabwe. Tell us about what is beauty of Zimbabwe. Oh, uh, Zimbabwe, we are very friendly people, and we have wonderful, wonderful food, which we share with West Africans <laughs> and everyone else in Africa. You know, but we're a lovely country. We are just we're known for hard working, always wearing a smile, and happy. Africans, we are just one love. But you know what? I wanna. I'm from Kenya. I wanna go for holiday in Cameroon. What do I see in Cameroon? What is the beauty of Cameroon? All right. When you arrive, Cameroon is what we call Africa in miniature. So every part of Africa is represented in Cameroon. The climate, all the four climates that you find in Africa is in Cameroon. So you have coastline. We eat a lot of fish. We eat a lot of. Beef beef we dance a lot we are very friendly you know so it's you are going to have a great time please do come and the food is fantastic viewers you've heard this is janet wanaina african act and i'm saying when you see africans in one place having a good time you know we've got it right so at the african festival in milton Keynes, dressed up like this beautifully representing our brand let us say africans united Bye-bye.